Hi guys, uh, in this video I'm just going to talk a little bit about the butterfly catch net uh, that I've mentioned in some of the articles that I've written on about.com. Uh, the reason why I'm showing this is just really that I've, I've always talked in uh, very high praise for this net and used it to compare against other nets like the new Nugi catch net 2 or the Icon. Um, and I thought it was just fair to kind of demonstrate why I'm so why I like this catch net so much in comparison to the other the other two nets and really any other catch nets that I've seen around the place. Uh, I've disassembled it, which is the first time I've disassembled this net in about 11 years. Never needed to take it apart to carry it anywhere because it's so simple. But what what this catch net boils down to is, um, I guess, five parts. You've got two of these, which are just the end points, which are going to attach to the corner. They just use a simple screw with a nice big metal plate. This part sits on top of the corner, and this part's going to go out to the side and hold the uh, hold the post that's going to run up. You've got the post that runs up. Pretty simple. You've also got the netting, and the netting simply attaches to these posts by using a very simple system where these little plugs, simple little plug has been put on the net at the right points and they're going to just push into the end of it and hold there. So the only real trick to this net is getting the netting, I guess, the right way around so that it sits correctly. And let's see if I can manage to do that today after demonstrating so much. So let's, my net's all disassembled. I'm going to start again, start the clock, and let's see how long it takes me to set up the catch net um, from scratch. Uh, which is the first time, as I said, the first time I've done this in probably 11 years. So <laughs> it's probably a reasonably fair test. So here we go, let's start the thing. So, first thing, Put one corner one on, and we're done. Grab the other corner, put it on, and we're done. Grab the net post, slot it in, and we're done. Grab the net net post, slot it in, and we're done. Grab the netting. Check that it's the right way around, and the right way around is simply to have, um, there's a silk screen in here, which you may or may not be able to see very well. Uh, pretty easy there. It says butterfly. Get the butterfly so that if you're facing the net, you can read it, which kind of makes sense. Grab the little push one for this top, push it in. There, the net goes around the outside. There's another little push stud sitting here, which attaches to the back here. I've just got to push that in. And there's a final little push stud that sits in here. And the trickiest part for me, I think, is remembering whether it goes into the bottom of this thing or the top. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. It's been so long, but I'll soon find out. I'm just going to do this on the other side. Push that in. Push the one at the back in. Let's see if we can get this get this right. That looks just about right. Good. Push that into here, I think. Or should it be at the top? Maybe at the top. That might be even better, actually. Oh, well. It's funny, I think I've been using this on the bottom all these years. And I think the top actually is better. Huh. <laughs> there you go. All right. Um, I just got to... The side netting's already attached. There's a little loop, loopy loop, that you loop over your net post. 
transistor is there. You won't be able to quite see that. Let me just, I'll just pull this back. Keep the camera running just so that the timing. Uh, perhaps back a little bit further. And just over to one side. Let me see if I can just pull this back a little bit. There we go, I think. Okay. Again, I'm just going to grab this. Grab the other loop. Put it around my net post. Get my net the right way around would be good. Yep. Net's on. Okay. And we are done. Finished. It's 3 minutes and 20 seconds that that's taken me to talk you through it, to reassemble it. There's a flap here with Velcro for when I want to use the robot here. There's a flap over this side if you want the robot over this side. There's a flap over this side if I want my robot over this side. I'm just going to walk you around and show you the side. Okay, this is the side view of the, uh, the netting. Um, as you can see, it just the balls run down the side. Um, go down the tube, there's just a hole here. Um, there's no Velcro to stop it, which would be probably one thing that would be nice to you could keep the balls in there. It is designed to go with the butterfly robot, which has a bucket um, to feed the balls up, so that's why there's not one there. But you can just put a bucket underneath if you're, if you're not using the robot. And, and essentially that's it. It's a three minute assembly, it's on, it works fantastically well. Um, it's still durable. It doesn't hook up. There's nothing for it to hook onto um, because of the fine mesh. Uh, and it, it's just a, it really is just a, a good robot, a good robot catch net. Having just shown um, how to put this together and just show the side view, uh, this net works fantastically well. It really does. It's, it's durable. Um, the balls run through with very, very little gathering of balls. Uh, as I said, I've used it for 11 years and it still virtually kind of looks like new because there's, there's nothing, this micro mesh here, the meshing is so fine, it doesn't hook up on anything. It doesn't catch on anything. So there's no rips or tears. Uh, it's, it's simple, it's efficient, it's easy to take apart and put together, even as I've just found. And what I'll just quickly do is I'll just take this apart again and we'll just, um, without all the talking, we'll just time how long this basically takes to disassemble. So let's, um, I'll just start my timer and let's just see how we go. So start from here. So, side net off. One down. The other down, the other side net off. I usually just finish there and just pack it up like that. But if I want to go the whole way, let's pull these out. Pull this one. That's two. That's three. That's the tubing. Two. This is the top one. That's out. The side or the back one, which I've just got to get my hand the right way around. That's that. That's the bottom one. That's that. Pull that out. There we go. There we go. That's the netting, and that's a minute and 28 seconds. Okay, so, um, I don't know what these nets cost as a catch net. Um, I don't know, I can't find out what they are separately. But I have to ask myself, this is a net that I haven't pulled apart for 11 years. It took me three minutes talking to assemble it. It took me one and a half minutes to disassemble. You know, is this, you know, it works fantastically well. It's durable as hell. There's only 
five things. There's, there's four net posts that are solid tubing, you know, virtually indestructible. There's a net that's made of micro mesh, fine micro mesh, which is, seems to be virtually indestructible as well. It sits correctly on your, your table. The balls funnel down correctly. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's like, <laughs> I don't know what they charge for it separately. But I mean, for this thing, this is, it's just a great catch net. And I wish you could buy them separately because this would be honestly the one that I would recommend to everybody because it's it's so it's easy to put together, it's easy to take down, it lasts, it works. Um, Muji and iPom, you know, I don't know. You probably can't just copy somebody's design, but you know, I've got a net here that takes me maybe you know really two minutes to set up, a minute and a half to take down, you know, versus a net that takes me maybe. Now that I know how, maybe 20 minutes. Um, the iPong's pretty simple, that takes about five. You know, that's, that's not too bad, really, though it's kind of fiddly with the amount of stuff. Um, what, what's a better net? You know, why, why isn't it all as simple, I guess, as this butterfly net, which has been around forever? Uh, I don't understand why people can't, you can't copy it, but why can't you learn from it and just say, well, look, why don't we do something similar that improves on it? But anyway, that's why I love this net. Um, I'm just going to quickly, um, I'm going to put it back together because I'm going to be using it in a second. Um, let's just quickly run through that process again. And um, just while I'm finishing off, so just get my net the right way around. I mean, you get your butterfly. Have you got your butterfly there? Yep, yeah, you've got your butterfly. And um, possibly. You can see now why, when I was discussing, say, the Nuji net, why I think the Nuji net is a super complicated design for a simple problem. And I guess it's on, I'm being spoiled by this net, where it's simple, hardly anything to worry about. You know, you're not going to break it. No one's going to hook up on it. Um, you can't get it the wrong way around. Um, if I've got a net like that, it's kind of, I guess it's understandable why I sort of feel that the new G is a little bit too overcomplicated and possibly prone to snagging up. Well, the iPod, you know, the iPod's not bad. I didn't have anything against the iPod apart from the fact that it doesn't probably catch the balls quite as well as the new G or the butterfly. Um, it doesn't do quite as good a job, but it's fairly easy to put together. It's, you know, five, five or ten minutes maybe. You know, well maybe not ten, maybe sort of five or five or more. Um, it doesn't do quite as good a job, in my opinion. There we go. Let's get that in. That right way, right way around. It always helps if you get it the right way around. Lovely. Do this one. And, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm back ready to go, you know, with my netting again. So, um, in all fairness, I mean, this is why I love this net. Um, it, it just does a fantastic job. And easy to put up, easy to take down. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I, I guess you can see in comparison um, why I think this is sort of like the gold standard of catch nets um, for me. Uh, I haven't seen anything that really does a better job. It's easier to put up or take down. Uh, I don't know what they cost. That's the only thing. I mean, if it's two hundred dollars, are you going to pay two hundred dollars, you know, for a, a catch net, basically, or go with the iPom? Maybe not. But um, if it was only sort of like a fifty buck or a hundred dollar net. Yeah, you know, you're just thinking for something that's so easy to use, uh, it starts becoming um, a little bit more of an obvious thing to, to buy. Um, I just wish, yeah, like I said, why Butterfly, why don't you sell these separately? So again, thanks for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll catch you around.